This is a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to install Windows MultiPoint Server after you've downloaded the ISO from the internet and burnt it to a CD or a flash drive. All right, so we've selected our language settings. Now we're going to go ahead and install. What you'll see after you can click the Install It Now button is that setup is starting and you'll be presented with the End User License Agreement. So basically it's just your terms of service for using the software. Once you go ahead and read through it, just go ahead and accept the license terms and click Next. So since we're installing this on our new box, we're going to use the custom option here. If you were upgrading your old multipoint system, you'd use Upgrade, but for now we're just going to install it on a new partition, clean everything out, start fresh. Alright, so you'll see the screen, your computer will restart a few times, we're going to skip ahead to the end here. Uh, during that time, you won't have to do anything. Your computer will take care of it itself. You won't have to put any input in. It will restart a few times, and then you will get to the setup screen, which you would see on a normal install of Windows. Uh, setup is preparing. And after that, you're going to get to a screen telling you to change the administrator password. For multipoint server, this is the built-in admin which you'll have to know if you are planning on upgrading your system in the future. And so you just make up a password here, remember it, write it down. And once you do that, you will briefly see the desktop show up before getting a few more prompts from Multipoint to set up your server. All right, so we're at the configuration wizard. We're gonna go ahead and start off by naming our computer so that we can identify it on its network. And then we'll go ahead and click Next. And after that, you'll be taken to a screen where you get to pick your configuration options. If you want to read about them, you can. Otherwise, select the ones you want, click Submit. And then all you'll have to do is wait. So this is what uh, can be a little bit intimidating when you see installing multipoint. This is a totally normal error and it's just telling you that you need to update the display drivers. Uh, for multipoint, you need the 64-bit drivers, and you'll find those by going to the website and downloading those drivers for the manufacturer of your graphics card. Um, my machine, I have an AMD Radeon card, so I'm going to go to the AMD website. I'll go ahead and just follow the instructions there to look for the drivers. Uh, you're probably not going to find server drivers on here, and in most cases, the 64-bit drivers for Windows 7 will work just fine. You need to make sure that your drivers support extended desktop, and once you have those downloaded and installed, all you're going to have to do is reboot your machine, and you'll be taken to the next step of the configuration process. You can see the computers restarted after you installed your graphics cards and you're going to be brought to the mapping station. If you've already set up your hardware, the mapping station will appear on every computer that's connected to the system. And all you have to do is press B on the keyboard or C or any corresponding letters and you're done.